Okay, this is out of Morro Bay. Remember how I've been saying that that marine deck is going to come back in? Well, boop, it happened. There it is, KSBY.com, powered by Surfline. You can see that cloud cover coming in. And by the way, you should check out new cameras now online. This is what's called the Morro Bay Overview. And uh, I like that camera. That's a good one. Okay, this is San Luis Obispo. You can see the clouds moving in. The camera's shuddering because we still have a decent wind out there. So in San Luis, down to 61, 63, Santa Maria, Santa Barbara, 62 in Lompoc, 78 in Paso Robles. And the winds right now still 10 to 20 miles per hour, with some places gusting past 30 miles per hour. We're just near what I think would be a wind advisory for Santa Barbara County Mountains, passes Canyon South Coast tonight. I think some sustained winds to about 30 because all that wind energy up here ultimately moves through the passes and canyons late overnight. But look at the gusts we saw today, nearly 40 miles per hour over the course of the afternoon that mixed out the marine clouds. But now the winds are starting to slacken a bit and we're going to see those uh, winds ultimately give up some of their speed. They'll be back again tomorrow, though, very similar in terms of pace. There you can see the cloud cover moving back in. Uh, the winds did kick up dust in particular matter, so we have the air quality warning till 8 for the Napomo Mesa coming out and taking a look at this new line of storms brewing up, really exploding now over places like Indiana and Illinois. But over uh, Kansas City, finally this line of severe weather has moved on. But as Karina and Richard were pointing out, flooding all this red here in the advisory box that is uh, for flash flooding. And uh, we anticipate that area to be waterlogged well into the overnight. So for us, we're wedged between high pressure off the coast and low pressure inland. That is going to produce onshore winds and uh, rather brisk winds in the afternoon for the central coast. There is enough cold air aloft and a disturbance that will work through later on this week. So we're going to see some afternoon and early evening showers and possibly isolated thunderstorms at higher elevations of Santa Barbara County and Ventura County. I think the best opportunity for that is going to be Friday. But we'll take a quick look at the microclimate model. Again, at the coast, you see the night and morning low clouds and fog. But you can see how this area wants to fire up once we get the daytime heating involved. So a little bit of activity on Thursday as well. But watch Friday here as we get into the afternoon. Much more activity here along the Tembler Range in San Luis Obispo County as well. We have to watch steering just in case there's some easterly flow here. Some of that could drift out over the major communities of the Central Coast. Right now, I don't have it in as a major factor in the forecast. Does need to be watched. Upper 60s, low 70s for most of the area. The uh, the exception to that would be the deeper interior valleys like Cuyama Valley, um, California Valley, Paso Robles area. All those locations have 80 or 80 plus degree potential already tomorrow. Okay, five day forecast trend very, very steady at the coast because of the marine layer. Interior areas coming off the peak, maybe just a little bit here over the course of the week, but uh, warming up and it warmed up quickly.